Hi there, my name is Ann Hansen and I am a retired dental hygienist and I am just following up after having my mandibular tore I removed about 10 months ago. And I've been meaning to do this. Uh, just, you know, thank you for being patient with me. I also wanted to thank you for uh, sending me the messages that you've sent me. I, it just, it, it means a lot because I know that this is a very personal space in here and and it's a scary you know, situation. And it just, it means a lot to me too, because it makes it all worth it, me sharing all of this. So, all right, a uh, couple things I wanted to address. One is someone had told me about a dentist making a retainer for them. And so after the tour I was removed, they put this retainer in and it acted like a Band-Aid. I think that's really fascinating and I don't really know much about it. So I would like to to learn more, so if any of you have had this done, can you please let me know below? Uh, with me, I can share that uh, what they did is they incised the tissue, removed it away from the bone, removed the bone, and then put the tissue back. And when they put that tissue back, you know, there's a lot of tissue because it was stretched out over bone. Uh, and then they suture it through the, the rest of your tissue and they kind of hold it in place and that's what acts like the Band-Aid. So, different maybe equally as effective, I don't know. So I would love to learn more though, if you have any information. Second is uh, tissue healing versus bone healing. You know, when you break a bone, it takes about 12 weeks for that bone to heal. Now we're not, you know, healing bone in here, we're getting rid of bone. So the bone part didn't really hurt. It was the tissue that needed to heal. And that takes about six weeks for it to really heal. Now I felt good after about 10 days but I wasn't going to be, you know, eating Dorito chips after 10 days. Um, and even now, 10 months later, I have to say, it doesn't feel like it's 100% as strong as it used to be. And it could be, well, it could be that it was stretched over bone, which is a hard surface, and that's why it felt so tough. And now it's kind of laying in there more like soft tissue. Um, I'm not sure. I do know that when someone gets burned and they have a, a skin graft done, that tissue that they've taken from one area and put into the other area, that tissue is never 100% as strong as it was before. So I'm wondering if it's similar in the mouth. I don't know, but I can tell you that my tissue feels a little bit more fragile than it did before. I'm not afraid to eat a Dorito chip, but you know, I'm, I, I, I'm, I, I think about it. So, uh, but I'm no longer fearful. <laughs> So, so that's good. Um, let's see what else. Oh, speech. So, you know, someone asked if my speech had been impeded from my tori. And I, beforehand, I would have told you no. But now that they're gone, I'm like, well, prob probably. It, it probably was. And I just never knew it because I feel like I can enunciate much better now. Uh, but if, again, if you would have asked me before, I would have said no. So the other thing, I've been having Botox injected into my masseter. So I clench and um, it causes a lot of issues, but you know, it's just not good <laughs> to clench. And it's hard because you're, you're asleep, right? So I've been getting Botox injections, which is botulism, which is gonna paralyze the muscle to relax the masseter. It's such a strong muscle. Now I can still chew, I still bite. It doesn't do anything, you know, to impede that, but, uh, it has helped me from clenching and that's just tension that can come up to the temporal, you know, area here. It could also come all the way down here and into your shoulder. And it has helped me immensely with that. Last thing, cause I know this is getting long, is I had forgotten to mention one of my favorite things to eat when I was going through this thing were graham crackers dipped in hot tea and it would just melt that graham cracker. And then, you know, you could just, I could eat a whole package of graham crackers. That was the problem, but uh, but it was just wonderful and, and really easy to eat and very satiating. So if that helps at all, um, that was probably my favorite thing. So anyhow, thank you for uh, following along with me. And again, means so much to me. Thank you very much for your comments. Um, and again, if you have any more, please leave them below. I will get back to you as soon as I can and good luck.